Well, for so many Murraysville families, getting the kids up in the morning, getting them ready for school, kissing them goodbye is never going to be the same. King 5's Ted Land met up with one family doing just that as they try to return to normal. The morning routine in the Reynolds household okay, we ready for the bus? used to be a little more hectic. They didn't always make time to sit down and enjoy breakfast as a family. Usually it's cereal and milk on your way out to the bus. <laughs> but then, 10 days ago, they were reminded want some caffeine? just how lucky they are to be here yeah. together. It was hard to hear her talk about it. So we're so grateful. I mean, she was okay, but just not knowing what all was going to come after that. 15-year-old you know. Jordan, a sophomore, was there that day in the cafeteria and is still processing all that she saw. Um, it's gotten better over the week. Uh, my friends are really helpful in being distractions, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely not gone or forgotten. They're taking this sometimes scary path after the shooting one hour at a time. More love. <laughs> some good, okay. some not so good. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying. Yes, you are crying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Sending their daughter back to school where it all happened won't be easy. Today's a little bit different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure that we were all home at the same time with the kids and get them out the door. Okay, here we go, Monday morning. They say as emotional as this day might be. I've never actually been stopped on the roundabout yeah. before. <laughs> we might all be a little bit nervous about today. They just want to get back to what you might call normal life. I love you. Okay. Text me a lot. Even though so much has changed. I'm trying to hold it together. Trusting again, you know. Ted Lamb. She's still my baby. King 5 News. Still my baby.